Shalom and thank you for joining us once again as we look deeper into God's word. Through this week we've taken some time to look at free will. We saw how God has gifted us free will, the ability to make choices. And we do see that even with that freedom of making a freedom of free will, each of us have a responsibility of that free will. As people, we are endowed with free will, which means we possess that remarkable capacity to make choices and we sow into our lives. That means we reap what we sow. So every decision we make, whether it is small or significant, it carries with it a potential for growth or for decay for blessing or for consequences. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 reads, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked, for whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. We'd like to consider the story of Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden, something we looked at at day 1. God granted them the freedom to eat from any tree of the garden. except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil despite this clear boundary we see eve exercised her free will and ate that which was forbidden gave it to adam as well in that moment they chose disobedience over obedience they chose autonomy over submission This choice did not grant them control over their consequences. As a result of their disobedience, they reaped and sin entered the world bringing with it pain, suffering and most of all separation from God. Despite their intentions or desires, Adam and Eve could not evade the repercussions of their actions. consider another example of king david david chose to indulge in his desires and committed adultery with bathsheba that led to a series of devastating consequences which included the loss of their child and turmoil within the kingdom despite his repentance and god's forgiveness david still had to face the fallout of his actions When we use our free will to sow seeds of kindness, compassion, righteousness, we reap a harvest of blessings, a harvest that not just enriches our lives but also that of others. Conversely, when we sow seeds of selfishness, greed, disobedience, we reap a harvest of consequences that bears pain, regret, disappointment and brokenness but there is hope even in the midst of our failures and shortcomings there is hope for god in his infinite mercy and grace gives us redemption offers us redemption to all of us who turn to him in repentance so even as we have the freedom of free will let us be mindful of the seeds we sow for they hold the power to shape our destinies let us choose wisely guided by the principle of love righteousness and obedience and let us trust in the faithfulness of god knowing that he who sows generously will also reap generously so let us sow seeds of faith hope and love reaping a harvest that will truly glorify god let's pray together Heavenly Father we remember the principle that whatever we sow we will reap. Thank you for the freedom of making choices. Lord we pray that you will endow us with wisdom even as we sow. Lord that we will reap a blessing that we will sow love, we will sow faith and hope and obedience so that we can reap that which is from you. Thank you for teaching us this principle. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.